Okay, we are here today in um, Tango, River. Tango River to talk about a very important mission and we have Mrs. Miss Graham here today that's going to talk to us about what is taking place uh, here, everything that's taking place here today. Um, tell the public, Miss Graham, what is happening here, who you are and also what uh, is happening okay, here. Okay, so my name is Shikar Graham, I live in Miami, Florida. My sisters and I took up this initiative to help Mr. Evans when we saw his information in the star. On seeing his information in the star, we contacted him because they were number. We spoke to him. When we spoke to him, he was just saying that he doesn't want him to take away his baby. He wants to love his child, but he's really in a little difficulties. And he works. That was one of the things that grabbed me. And he wants to love his baby, but he they say his living condition is not good. He said, okay. Who is he? Mr. Evans. Who is Mr. Walton who is, Evans. Who is Mr. Evans? Mr. Evans? Mr. Evans! Come here! Come here, Mr. Evans. He's coming. Okay. So, my name, I own a company in Florida called My Lullaby Babies. And say My Lullaby Babies, that's self-explanatory. It tells you that I take care of babies. And I see the love that parents have for their babies when they are taking care of them. And I would not want to just tear a family apart because they're poor. That's no reason to take away a child from their parents. Because my sisters and I are survivors of poverty and look at us now. Come Mr. Evans. This is Mr. Evans. Right? And, 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 and for the record, mm -hmm. he was he's the father of he's the, the father of the baby that, that was, was taken. Yes. Was he's the father stolen of the baby at that the Colonel Regional Hospital. Yes, yes sir. Yes, okay. yes. He's the father of the child that was stolen. The princess that was stolen from Colonel Regional Hospital. So my sisters and I we said let me start a GoFundMe to save persons with help. It wasn't going anywhere. It's still nowhere. It's at $400 and I started like three weeks ago. So what we said is that we cannot wait. Meanwhile, we wait on persons to donate. The court is going on. Determination of not living in this condition is if they'll keep their child. So we put our money together. Sheena, Shikar and Simone, we all put our money together and we say, you know what? Let's send it to Jamaica to help Mr. Evans. We call a friend and our cousins and we got a contractor. Building start right now. They are doing a partition for the living room. We're doing the floor. He'll, um, you'll go in there and let them see what's going on. We're fixing his roof, taking out all the leaky solitex. We have built him a new bathroom. We have taken every single thing out of his house. We're throwing away all the, the old furnitures. We're giving him new furnitures. They're not here as yet because evidently we're not finished building. And we're separating his living room in a dining and kitchen. So we just tore down the old kitchen that he had. child that was stolen at Corner Regional Hospital. Well, you know we have to highlight things like this because what Miss Graham is doing today is very amazing and Miss Graham gets real emo emotional at this time as well. Give me five hundred dollars to buy me lunch. We go out there, go see a man, and the man say, 
He not do so much work. And he left me and, and me have to do the work. And the government and put me for one year contract. And me end up on three months. And all them put me for one year contract. Me money, me little money, can't get no cure me work. Me can't survive. Me thank God for the people who come come help me. I never know that me not get so much help. And God would have helped me in this way. But I give God thanks. <laughs> and the people have been not, not no family to me all right now. We come, they come like a family to me because we don't have no money. You see that lady over there, Auntie, Auntie, see her there, Auntie. If I want to lay the day, I'm a mother that day, I'm a baby. You know what I mean? Right now, I ask God to bless them people and keep them, make this two basket be full up. I have nobody to help me. Auntie, I first need to help me. She has set up right here. So if she never helped me, she had a dead with the baby in her belly. Right? And that lady, me love her. That is my mother. And my father. <laughs> give me that help. And that lady give me the baby. This people come and they help me see there the house is going up. Right? I see there the house, it was like back part one day, so I pop off, they drop down. I have nobody to help me. <laughs> boy, I tell you, I tell you, say, boy, I so rough life, because me day I'll be sick already. Nobody to help me. We don't have a room right there, so I'm, one gentleman bite me up. I'm in the room, I'm sick, I want to come and come from Canada, come here, come help me. She'll have to leave a little money here to take care of us. I don't know you hear nothing about the money, right? And those people up there when get the money to take care of me. I don't you hear nothing about it. I just say, the gentleman use all the money and buy things can come and give me like a see like what these people do. And the gentleman say, he will just go and help me and he'll go back, he'll go back and find him. I don't see him again. Nobody not there to help me. Nobody. See there, so only could pan me up when I catch water. At least I could cut me use and carry the water from down by the river down there. I draw it because it, it can't push forward. You have to pull it back here. Yeah, with the house, because nobody, we no call one friend. pastor, we find yeah, church, it's about yeah. two yeah. jump, and nobody yeah. now help me, I have to just try to help yeah. myself, because yeah. that's the way our life is set up. I have real. nobody to help me, right? And if these really people ever come, you know what I'm going to do. Why the government don't take huh? away my baby, and my people and their mother, and they walk up and down in a church, I'm going to tell you too, because... Alright, don't cry, so how do you feel now, like, when you get in a house, get in a bill now? Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you, I feel nice. I feel like it's a boy, you know, up on the cloud. Right. I feel like I'm free again. Okay. Because they say they're going to help me. That we can go and go look for my first daughter. We give time because these clothes we see me in and now, I they care them come give me. Not these people, but some people give me some things and I, I, I put them on. Yeah, I wash them out. Some of them they say I do have to wash them, and I do. I wash out some. Mm -hmm. yes, so, all right. Mr. Please Evans, Karen, it got really real. Like it got. He remind me about something growing up. And but we're not going to leave him, to we're and going to help him, we're nice. going to continue right? to help because him. I wasn't we're not going to leave because Mr. Evans out any at all. We need more here. to be done. Nikisha, sit we're going to get him his electricity this week. And um, Yes, I thank God, um, man. All right, yeah, all right. right now, I, will, I, will, I never right, believe um, that I would get More needs help. to be done, we need more help, yeah. we need more, we need more money. We need, we, this can continue. And I, so, as we said before, more work needs to be done. And it doesn't stop here. And as an, a Jamaican living overseas, we know, we know we can help. If it's even $20 or $5, we can put it to the GoFundMe. And I promise you guys, whatever I use the money to do, you can see your receipt. I can send it to Makai News. I can send it to CVM. I can give it to DJ Amber on RFM. She's the one who got all these medias here for me today. And it just take a unity. Today I have every single body that's a media, social media in Tango River with me today. Today is Saturday and they take the time out to come here. So this is a team effort, guys. I'm pleading to everybody. England, Cayman, United States, everywhere you are. This is worldwide. You can see what's going on. Donate. Help. Shit. We nearly dropped. Donate. Help. Let, let us do it, guy. We we can see it. We don't uh, have to depend yeah, yeah, on. Your local number is here, but uh, you are not oh, in Jamaica. Oh, my international number is 717 623 Three three zero nine. I repeat, seven one seven 
623-3309. Whatever media is being publishing, they'll put my my number overseas. Call me anytime, guys. Well, and what's your go for me for this important? S H E K E R R G R A H A M. That's Shikar Graham. And the email address is gshikar at hotmail.com. So it's G with my first name at hotmail.com. And my name is Shikar Graham. S H E K E R R. And that's G R A H A M. Okay, you mentioned that uh, the mission doesn't stop here. No, even it doesn't though you stop are here. What's, what are your long term goals? My for long term this goal is to family. make sure that he has electricity. My long term goal is to make sure that the family is never ever hungry. They will never be asking for food. They will never be going out of formulas for the baby diapers or wipes. They will never have their electricity cut because we're going to maintain that for him. What I'm going to do, I have a young lady that I'm going to pay. She's going to come here every two weeks and make sure that the house is clean. The baby stuff is packed away because you know our emphasis is most on the baby. So we're good. we're not stopping at anything he needs. He's able to call us. He have all my sister's number, including myself, and he can call us at any time, and we'll be here for him. Whether we get money from the public, yes or no, we're here for you because we started this initiative without help. So we can continue, and the good Lord is going to bless us, so we can continue. Okay, can you just walk us through and okay. show us what's happening today, and the uh, general public? general public as well. Okay. So, this is the newly built bathroom. This is one of our contractors. They said you said you didn't want it to be in as you get caught. Who? I have more work to do. <laughs> okay. So this is our newly built bathroom. Oh, we have to walk around. Can we can't walk? No. Put some grass so this is... No, it's alright. We walk around. Oh. So this is everything. Not everything because most of this stuff is gone already. So this is everything that we took from the house. There was a kitchen there, we tore it down. This is the room now. The door is going to be changed. They are putting in new windows today. The windows are here. They the this one. So we are putting in windows today. That's the door that's going to be changed today. In the week, they are going to finish the room. What we'll you up all of them solitics there. What we'll you up everything from here, so all right. This floor is okay. So we're just sweeping. Wiping out and we're gonna put the baby. We have we bought a bassinet for the baby. Yeah, no bassinet Rock and play day. Why name again Trisha? We have a playpen for the baby. It's here in the car. So we're gonna put the playpen in here We're gonna put the bed in here. So we're gonna put them here for now. So this is gonna be the room for now So this is the second room that we're doing but why they have to stay here for now is that The floor we're doing we're redoing this floor so then if you render it and do whatever they do, I don't know construction, but I know what they do. Tomorrow now, they're going to finish this ceiling. Yes, this ceiling. This is a retaining wall. I said, you Marjorie? This is a wall. So this wall needs to come down because it's sort of shift. Right, Marjorie? So they said, we need to tear down this wall. We need money for this, guys. This wall needs to come down. So we don't take out this window yet because I say we have to take out the window when we take out the wall. So for now, it's not really so hazardous, which it is, but you can go on, we we'll finish the floor. There, when we are do here, it must, it, I think he said when we are do here, it might go do here, but you can still join the wall to it. Okay, this is the newly built bathroom. This is the built bathroom, right? This Marjorie. Call Sheen and tell her she needs to go up on my Facebook page. It's on there, right? That would be on my page because my card news is on it. Okay. You can share and put the link from my page. You can share. Okay, share. She will watch it. Good. So what happened is this. This is the ba this is the, the bathroom that we built from scratch for him. So the top is already done. Just the solid takes the mug on it. And this is his shower. The toilet is going here. Oh, wait, I'll go somewhere. You don't know what I'm saying. The toilet and the face base go go right beside the toilet. So this is the bathroom. Almost done. Guys, you see, we started this by ourselves. This is a so this is the social worker from CD. Can you show him? This you're getting help for him. From him. He came here today. So let me show you the living room. Now. Who are you, sir? Baker. From from from, from the child protection and family services. Okay. I are here to support yes, what Mrs. Graham and family is doing here today. Okay. All right, yeah. and, and, and what would your what would be your message for the public? Because you would have been you would have seen a lot of situation yeah. in Jamaica and some fortunate 
some some not so fortunate like what Miss Graham doing for this family. But tell tell general public as somebody with first hand experience with what happened with daily family with in need. What what's your appeal to the public? Well, what I would say to the public is that keep reporting because many times people might have the impression that reporting is negative but out of these type of reports positive things can happen for the family and um, we have seen it in this um, situation instance, right as a result of what has happened it has transformed the family you know and that is what the child care and protection is all about it is the family so, would, would you say you would prefer to see people the general public come in and help families than to see government or aid, government aid and take away kids no you see our our main focus yeah. is i wouldn't say no is that the family yes. along with the government agents work together yes. for collectively right collectively for the development of, of families, families. And the, nation, the nation in general. Yes. So it's a collaborative effort. Yes. You know? Okay. So you love what is happening today? It is today. very great. So okay. I'm happy I'm a part of it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Take the time out to speak with us. Yes. You My car is new. Okay. 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 Right. So this is the this is the era they were living in. This is the actual era they were in. Yes, that's the bed. We're gonna, we're gonna. For now, we have to make them go back to panda. That's the bed. Because guess what? Um, we'll buy one new bed for them. What is this? this is so what happened is that now this is where they were living in this era, kitchen and everything. So we have cleared everything out. It's we have before and after for Makai news to show you all. I can send you the pictures before and after. So what we're going to do in here now, we're going to use this section here. For the living, we're gonna use this table. We're gonna let it remain. Just buy a table part for it. That's the stove we're gonna replace it. We're gonna we're gonna get a manual stove. So we're gonna use in here. We're gonna change all these windows. Yeah. So we're gonna use in here now for their living room. So there is the living, and down there is gonna be the kitchen. There is a kitchen for now. So we're gonna put the stove and the fridge. So it depends on where they run the light, wherever they do, we're going to use here for the kitchen until we get the money now to build them an actual kitchen. Yeah. So for now, I just the living room, I'm going to be living on and, and kitchen and living. And that's it. And this is the veranda. We're going to be going to... Marjorie, we're going to be going to the tile. the veranda going to change? No. The, the tile is going to stay here. But what we're going to do now for the final step is this. Whenever everything is finished, we're going to give them a fresh paint. We're going to paint the entire house. So when it's finished by next week, hopefully, you will see. Everything is not going to be done, you know, guys. But we're going to paint it next week and take our time. It depends on us and you too to give me money. So all we can do is quick, quick, quick. I know, that, I know the media is here from um, various Arab, media hosts. Right. But how many volunteers do you have here today okay, helping? Okay, so I have my cousin over there. That's Marjorie. Okay. That's my cousin. She's the one who bought buy everything when we send it here. This is Shaggy. She's the one who got our contractor for us. This is my very hey. best friend, Mr. Murray. This is Trisha. <laughs> that's my that's one that this girl helped to raise me. So she's here today. So come here. <laughs> she's here today. Supporting her baby, thinking shy. And we have um the contractors around there. And big up Amber. This is because of Amber. All of this media thing. I called her just to go and Irie FM to get a free talk for Irie. And then I only get a call from TVJ, Mackay News, Observer, um, Gleena. Gleena, Star, everybody. And it's just overwhelming, guys. And it's a good support. And if you see all that's happening here today, why not can't help me? So we have the two. Um, he's from Observer. He's from the Gleena. And we have, that's the contractor down there. He's the one building. Yes. And we have a lady from CDA. Come, trust me. As she move out, everything out of the living room. Trust me. Where should I see her? See, champion bubble here. I move out everything today. Trust me, can't work. Mister, you're here from the CDA. Yes, yes. Okay, child. Yeah, for those, uh, for those who don't know what's the meaning of CDA, or want to know, or want to, know to state what, what CDA means and what it does. 
CDA is a child development agency. Look about children from zero to eight years old. So we are only the take caretakers from CDA. And I'm um, CDA. I'm um, sometimes actually take away kids from parents if it needs. No, they, they don't take ch children from parents. Parents leave the children and they enter into it. Okay, okay. Yeah. And wh what would you say about, um, in terms of what is happening today? What, what, um, well, it's a nice feature for help. Like how I see him on the TV, these children coming here first time, help him. That's very nice. Okay. Yeah. And, and everybody you, just come in and help. Yeah. And, and your advice to the public? Yeah, to do what they can do. Donate something to him. Okay. And to yeah. others. And to you others know, as to well. Others. Yes. What we yeah. need, we need help from the public. We start give back to Jamaica and help the CDA. If you don't have clothes, diapers, wipes, give it to CDA so when they come to families like these, they can help. We need public, CDAs need resources. Tap for the GLP and PNP and make them promise not fooling up. And then, then done, we don't know when politics done. Help on the one. Go and go do little things. Beg people are foreign things. Write it things. They're not Brazilian here. And get things to help people. You understand me? CDA need money. Prime Minister. And some children that we see there need more than help. Look here, we have water and juice enough. Your final word, sir. Your final word as to the help you are getting. I'm really thankful of all the help. Because I never have it. And it is, it is, life is rough and it is hard. But I really give God thanks for the help. This is what I'm going to give thanks to everybody who come here. T, um, TVJ, um, Gleena, CDA, everybody. I thank God for everybody because I never have it, right? And if they come and they help me, uh, anything was not good, just straight away because it's here we live and we have to keep the place clean, right? Because it's just for the baby and the mother, not for me. Because me, I, I can do anything, but it's just for the baby and the mother to get the place in good harder, right? I thank God for the help. Right. I thank God for the sun and the sh who shine the sun and make the rain fall. I thank God for the people who come here come help me. I thank God for everything. 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 My life. Everything. Right? My work. My little, little garbage that I clean and for the inspector them who I work with, who they help me. But some of the time it, it's rough and it's hard for them, but I give God thanks. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes. to work with family so that you can can't do that, that man you have to kill me thing you have to start all over